Good morning. Welcome to a windy, windy morning. It's me, it's Steve, it's the BM. Service time. We're going to take the BM down to get service, come back, and we've got a busy one to start with the week. We have got fencing, we have got driveways to finish, we've got driveways to start. Two fencing jobs in Believe. Two. Yeah, two fencing jobs. Two good ones. One for my old, old customer who's contacted me. Yeah, first job is get this BM down for service and get back. So that's car all dropped off, pick it up at four o'clock. Uh, I've got one green grab to do, and then we're doing the steps today. The weather isn't the best, but it is sheltered and it's not frost there, so perfect for doing that step. Stevie is on a fencing job, like I mentioned earlier, so we'll take you along for the ride. So yeah, let's get in that grab. So we are in the grab. We have got one to do this morning because I think Burns cleared it. I have got another one this afternoon, if I get a chance, it's some of our screen topsoil. But the first port of call is this green grab. I think I've got a bit of quote to do and all, so I'm actually going to get me iPad, iPad and my tape. But yeah, it's a grab this morning. Then we're straight off to go and do this step. And yeah, it's going to be a good one, guys. Stay tuned. Here's our first grab, all of this. So let's get it gone. There we have it, all gone and on. You won't believe that. It squashed down really, really well. I'm going to do a quick quote here and then we'll be on our way. So we're on the driveway. It's me, it's Jordan. We've just took all the old slabs out. Now we're going to bullnose the corner of the slabs. I'm going to show you how we bullnose it. I've never done it before, so I hope it works. I'm going to show the customer. I've had let the customer know. We are using, I'm going to show you. We are using this. And this goes on the corner of the slab, just like that. And it, and you run it around with an angle grinder and you bullnose it. So yeah, I hope there, it will look really, really nice. We've got three to do, I believe. So we're just going to do one to show the customer, make sure they're totally happy with it. So I'm just showing you now, obviously I've had to take the guard off because that will not fit in there and work with that guard on. So that's why. I'm just showing you, obviously, I'm just gonna have to be careful, really, really careful when a ball knows it. I'm just gonna have to sit like that. What it's looking like so far guys it's looking at really really good to say we're doing that by hand i think that's a good effort yeah and get that one done there then that's all the ball nose bits done and then it's just slabs in the behind it really really windy guys but this is it so far all ball nosed up at the front so we're going to make a mix up now and then start laying a butt to the backs. Sort that front edge out just underneath there because we've always got to put some tiles under there but you're not going to be able to see them. There's a slight fall out it was before. But yeah, it's looking really good. The water should fall off there and run down into that. So hopefully that works. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It looks really, really smart. Really smart. Here's a little bit of a catch up. I'm trying to do it because we are behind on jobs. This is Monday, so we was meant to be starting another job, but because of the snow, just held us back. But yeah, it's full bed. It's five and one mix. It's normally six and one, but it's not going to penetrate this step anyway. So the nice strong mix. Probably come back and join it. This side's going down. I'm buttering the backs up. So got my slurry in there. I'm buttering it up, and then we're just sticking them down. They're going down really, really well. We've got big ones go across there, a little tiny bit in the corner, just like that one. And then it's that one, which is there, and that one, which is there. And I'm just filling that joint in there, because you're not going to see it. And then it's just one big tidy up. The lads are coming with the soil, and they're going to tidy up. Because it's haircut time for me tonight.
have it guys just gotta wash that off there a little bit more to there a little bit there i'm gonna grab this up tomorrow so the lads are just doing the soil in there see put a nice bit of soil in i'm gonna blow it off for the uh, blower filling that all in with soil all the way along here we've got simba on the back jordan and jordan i'm gonna go and get my hair cut now leave you with jordan so jordan will quickly show you all the soiling up at the end like i say i'm going to come back and join that up tomorrow so you'll see that tomorrow well no you're not you'll see that in a few hours not even a few hours is it 10 minutes you'll see it in about 10 minutes so stay tuned you'll see it in about 10 minutes so we are at jp's barbershop looking nice and sharp i'm heading back to the yard now so next time you see me i'll be back at the yard so i said we'll catch back up and we'll go back to the yard everyone's gone I just need to do this bucket. I'll show you what I've been doing. So I've welded a plate onto the teeth just so I don't catch a gas pipe or a cable. Because if I get it wrapped in between them, I'm gonna catch it. So I put a bit of a blade on, welded it to the teeth. So I just found it easier to do that rather than weld it straight to there and take all the teeth off. But yeah, I haven't done a bad job with my welder. And I noticed one of the teeth were broke. So, I just welded that. But yeah, I'm getting better in welding, I think. I know self-recommendation is no praise, but yeah, I'm getting better. I'll get by. So I'll get by when we're welding. It's only gonna get better in it with practice. But with that said, it's another day at D&J. We'll see you in the morning, guys. So then guys, my dad mentioned that he's been to this property before. And this is what he did five years ago five years ago just need some joint it now nah, in the slabs but yeah five years ago as you know we don't really do this sort of work no more but we are back today to change this fence as you can see there are strings there are lines everywhere from what you can see fences need repairing need replacing and we're doing one two three four and five today it's going to be good but as always we start with a rip down so let's get it Fence is down. This is before, guys. And after. Not too shabby. First one in. It has been a struggle. It's been hard. It is so windy, it's very hard to get the fencing up. So you're probably going to hear a bit of wind, so we do apologise. But we're going to have this bay in here. Asna, you can have the pleasure of using your magic fingers, this one, please. Oh, I'll try and make it powerful. That's it, mate. And there we have it. Nice little step running down the hill. Next one again. We'll try and do a time lapse for this one, guys. We're gonna attempt to get the concrete out first because we spend 10, 15 minutes getting it out. Because look, they're big, but they're in the way, so they need to come out. Uh, the next one is here. You can just see it. Look, it's gonna be a pain. And we're obviously, we're trying to be careful of these slabs. But uh, yeah, we'll go again. Once we've created a hole, we'll time lapse it. Yeah. So we tried a time lapse, guys, but it's so windy, my phone got blew over. But we are doing this one here. We'll get it in now. One more to go. Little small one. So we need to get a post on wall and grow a board in, and then we'll get a panel in. Just the panel to slide in here, and then our job is done. Just making it look nice. Nice little steps down, gonna be another little step there. But yeah, good to go. When we come and put that panel in, we'll show you guys. So good morning guys and welcome back, it's Tuesday. We never start the video actually at the same time. It's always, hello, I'm Dad and welcome to another day. But here we are on a Tuesday. Dad is gonna take you along for the beginning of this part of the video. What are you doing today? 
started the driveway, we should have started yesterday. Yeah, that was because of the snow, but you've already, oh, you've already two noticed. Two days behind, two days behind. We've got the joint up to do, say, the joint up to do today. So the completion of the other drive, completely completed. I don't know if you've seen anything, I did ask. Jordan did video. So he's not a YouTuber. Mm. So our video today, the completion of the drive, and then it's the start of a new one. And another van in for an MOT. Yeah, lovely. So, when a van goes in for an MOT, it's money, to be sure. We need all the vans we can get. We could do with another van right now, or something yeah. with another tow bar. Yeah. So, and not that grab at every tree. We could so. do with a Ford Raptor with a tow bar, me and Steve can use all the time. Good, wasn't it? Yeah. I'd enjoy that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go do a fencing job with Asna, but you're gonna see what my dad does first. So uh, I'll catch up later, guys. So good morning. As mentioned, we are on a new driveway job. We have got the completion of that one, but it's only the joint fit. We will be doing that this afternoon. But it's me, it's Jordan. Jordan's in the blingo, because like I say, this family behind me as well is MOT today. Sherwood Shed lads on their day. I've got a like an easy one, I ain't got much on the back of that. Yeah. So yeah, it's me, it's Jordan, and it's Jordan. Get the sun into sight, and then I've got a grab to do, but it is after nine o'clock, I've got to do the grab. So yeah, let's go on site, let's rattle in and show you the job in hand. So this is the job site. I'm sure that was a garage when I uh, I come last. I'm not sure. Anyway, Aco across here, soak away. Not sure if I can tap into them. All this is being ripped out. We're going right to the border. It's coming out to there, just there, on all that. And go block around the edge. And this one's gonna be a tarmac one. But first job we'll do, get the sunny off. There's another one that gone up for MOT. Just come to me, I never told you. I've got a central locking door, it's an old girl. <laughs> never told you how the Blingo got on. The Blingo, it had a couple of advisories on tyres and the number plate bulb and it went straight through. So yeah, unbelievable. How old this van is and what we've got now? 182,000 miles on the clock. Just over. Well, just over, yeah. So yeah, pride of the fleet. Best van I've ever bought. Cost me nothing now, absolute nothing. Paid for. I mean, it's paid for itself 15 times over, 20 times over, 30, 50, 100 times over. So yeah, what I'm doing now, George is gonna drop me off for the grab. Uh, I'm gonna do the grabs and then meet Jordan and Jordan on the job. So yeah, a little bit inconvenient, we've gotta go back and forwards and stuff. But I'm the only one but two, so Sunny because it's a big machine and just, I'm confident in doing it. Oh, spat them. I'm confident in doing it. So yeah, next time you see me, I'll be on the ground. So here we are guys. Jordan is just unloading the 61 trellis. We have got all that to put on. That's gonna go through our crusher, nice at all. So the lads will have something to do when we get back to the yard. So let's get it on. So there we have it guys, all gone. But you can hear the buzzer, I'm 500 under. I'll show you when I get in there, just to prove. But this is a proper full load. Couldn't get no more of and it's still 500 under. So there we go, we've got 480, 500 kilo we can put on. I can't physically get any more on. So yeah, we'll take this back to the yard and the lads will crush it. So van's ready, must have passed. John's gonna pick it up now. We've dropped the stuff off with the lads, they're gonna crush that, I've told them to time it. See how, because we know how much that load was. I know it's a bit gonna be odd, it's not just brick. <laughs> Come get that van you. <laughs> I'm gonna go and catch up with Jordan on site. Is it okay if I'm the same? I'm catching feelings from all the dealings. Am I astray? What do you say? How are you feeling? Is it the same? I hope you're not planning to waste my time. To my surprise, that was her reply. Now we have vibe. It's been a while and such a ride of stars align. I love the fact I didn't let her go. She loves the fact that I just let her know Now we're together, it's a different mode We getting crazy in a different road I love the fact I didn't let her go She loves the fact that I just let her know Now we're together, it's a different mode We 
getting crazy in a different room. She's always beside me, she makes me feel alive I won't deny Her love for me is real and kind of suicide She's not the same She's such a rare type She's far from plain At least in my eyes She said if I cross her I'll be in the grave Or you under her type But yeah, that's still my best So, we are on the job <laughs> What's this? What's this all about? Jordan has prepped up, been digging down there, down to level, he's found that. We know there's some kind of cable there, but we are foot down now, so we'll just dig carefully. So what we'll do, we'll start digging with the sanner. He's made a nice job of that, squared it off lovely. But yeah, a few scoops and we'll be done. We getting crazy in a different role I love the fact I didn't let her go She loves the fact that I just let her know Now we're together, it's a different mode We getting crazy in a different role Going well guys we're nearly a foot down this bit here i gotta come back and bleed it again once jordan's grabbed it let's say we expose this pipe all in good condition but yeah it's going it really well probably i don't know if we get some stone in today but would like to so let's get this grabbed come back on start bleeding again So this has got two chambers, foul and top water. So we're going to tap into this one. We don't need a soak away. Oh, is it that spider? That's big spider down there. Yeah. Just there a lot. Yeah. <laughs> big spider. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to bring the digger back on. I'm going to blade it off a bit more, two levels, grab it. And then we've nearly done for the day. Here we have it guys, it's all dug out to spec and level. Jordan's gonna put a load of recycled or a road stone in here and then start putting the drainage in. Like I said, we're gonna tap into that, we're gonna core drill that. But yeah, someone has just paid 50 quid for that soil on there. It's like clay soil. That's says, yeah, all day long, mate. So I'm gonna drop that off and then I'm gonna drop this back at the yard. Jordan's gonna load it and we're gonna do one more grab. Nah, no, not every day that happens, is it, Jordan? <laughs> Free tip. <laughs> Well, he's paid for it. Yeah. Yeah, he's paid for it. So yeah, uh, and he wants loads more. So happy days. So hello guys, we're here. We're changing these panels, that panel, that panel, that gate, there's a panel there and a panel right there. Yeah, pretty much just gonna change it. Might not be changing this one. 
Oh, they haven't painted it, so we will be changing it, yeah. Um, pretty much a simple job. So we'll get them out and the gate off now. Nah? And they're out. We've got one timber on, but we just want to show you this, guys. So we've took the timber off the post. Well, the bolt, should we say. Um, but if you've got a timber in the ground as well, this is a good little technique, isn't it, hasn't it? <laughs> so you drill it in. Because obviously we can't screw round. We well, saw round. We put a screw in. And you give it the little pry off. <laughs> and she's out. <laughs> we weren't messing around with that, were we? <laughs> no, nah, that was in. No wonder it wouldn't pull out. But uh, we're going to measure. We're going to cut. We're going to get it on. Measurements have already been sent to Jamie. And then we shall be back. And this transformation will be complete. Jobs are good, and guys. Custom, 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 custom. Obviously, a brand new gate. Not too shabby indeed. So then, guys, we have dropped the topsoil off. It is. Oh, it's half past five. Step's all done. Let me show you. Step is all done. Jointed up. Looks really, really good. Contrast with the blue charcoal grey blocks customers putting a new light up a new door number but yeah this job is now complete all the soil is around the edge and well we did a little bit of damage getting that stump out with some but that said it's another day at bmj see you in the morning guys good morning it is wednesday morning and i'm doing something a little bit different today i'm muck shifting with me and my mate let's grab it we are muck shifting today. So yeah, we're gonna try and do 10 to 12 loads each. Tips only around the corner, a little bit different. Muck shifting on a grab. Yeah, but it is what it is. Money's money, we've got to earn. So yeah, I'm just waiting now uh, for Rob to be loaded. We're straight up to a tip, then we're on return load. And we're gonna keep on doing that all day. So yeah, a bit boring for me, but it pays the bills. I'm doing that again. It pays the bills, so yeah. I'll show you Rob when he's being loaded very, very soon. So this is me for the day being loaded by a 20 ton machine. Taking about three minutes to load, if that, and then we're on our way again. So yeah, nice cushy one for me today. And we've got loads to shift. Just on cue, he is coming in now. So yeah, this is my mate Rob. I've seen him on the channel before. We did his ram on his grab. But yeah, there he is. Two white wagons. And he's got muck on the number plate as well. So I am on my break. I've done six loads. I'm on my seventh load. Uh, I don't know how Rob's messed his, his brakes up. He's messed his brakes up, so he's had to have his break before me. But yeah. On my half hour break, I've already had my 15. Yeah, I've just got to sit here, have a bit of snap. Probably tidy the wagon up a little bit. Sort all my paperwork out, go through my emails. But yeah, this is uh, the life of muck shifting. It's a bit boring, really, muck shifting. I prefer to like grab stuff. When you're doing something, you're out of the cab then. You're not putting weight on. But yeah, I'll have this break and we'll time lapse. We'll go and get another load and we'll time lapse back to the tip. There we have it, we're on last load of the day, load 10. So Rob's just getting loaded up, then it's me, and then we're on our way. Started as a whisper, message from a new world I'd never known. Something about it felt like, it been waiting my whole life.
So that's the last one of the day done. It's been an interesting one. I'm back on this tomorrow. So you're going to see some more of this tomorrow. But that's another day at D&J from me. See you in the morning, guys. Hello, guys. Another day at D&J. What a day we've got for you today. I think... Look at my hair, bloody hell. I think you'll be... <laughs> <laughs> I think you would have uh, seen my dad's clips first, but this is what we're uh, what we're doing today. Just close this gate, mate, so I can show them. This is being replaced. It's quite big when you stand up oh, next to it, ain't it, mate? It's uh, it's very very big. The plan is to do brand new gates, brand new cloaking. But what we're going to do is we are gonna put posts up as high as we can go but then we're probably gonna have to attach two like it previously is so it can all tie up and go a little bit higher it's about six foot from there up but you can imagine this is probably oh four foot drop it's gonna be quite tall indeed we've got mason and finn in the back just having a cup of tea that the customers made us but whilst me and asley crack on with this they're replacing all of these panels going with green panels today as well Gonna look not too shabby. But we're gonna have this and we're gonna crack on. Definitely ready. Very wet, very rotten. Look at that. No wonder it's like that. Um, what we're gonna do, because it's all sort of loose, we're gonna saw here. We're probably gonna knock that beam off that beam, separate this. So we sort of mess with this section and then we're gonna mess with this, aren't we, mate? Uh, we will need ladders eventually because obviously as you know it's tall but the main priority is the gate frame today because that's that's going to take the longest in it uh so i'll set you up for a time lapse and we'll continue One post to go. Just a big bit of concrete to go. Once we've got our post in and this is all done, we'll do nice square sections and concrete it back up. Another tea, we need it. It's been hard this one has, but we expected it. Uh, so I guess when we get that bit of concrete out as well, we'll catch back up guys. Now trust me when I say this was an absolute ball ache to get at. And then the breaker turned up just after. The lads have been using the breaker on the driveway job, hence why we couldn't use it. And the other breaker that we've got, the gun wasn't working. So we had to do this by hand, basically. The old post used to be there. I don't know if you remember, and there was like a little bay there that wasn't even connected to anything. So we decided, forget doing that. Let's put the post as far over as possible, get it leveled and plumb, level across with a beam, obviously for support, leveled up there. Obviously, we've got our timber to a height that we need. There's going to be a 4 by 2 running across that as well, remember, because obviously this is going to be a lot higher. So this will be built up eventually. Uh, next step now, 4 by 2 cutting. It's going to be a 4 by 2 attached to this, running up, and then that one is going to run across there, and then it's going to be a beam running across there. Uh, it's a lot of cuts. It's a lot of measuring, a lot of messing about. But it's going to look good, this one. Customers come out of a tea again, and some cake bars and mini rolls, so thank you very much. But the lads have smashed it with the panel replacements in here. There's going to be a little custom one down there, a little custom one at the very top as well. Customer already had three panels, so that's why they're a bit brown there. But these are green. She wanted the two originals just in there. But it ain't looking too shabby indeed. Quite like green panels. I do believe they're getting painted that same colour there, but not too shabby at all just framing today guys we're just gonna crack on and uh, we'll catch up a little later so well thanks for watching if you could like this video appreciate it and if you could subscribe we'd appreciate that as well guys oh not too shabby we've just blocked it off for now because we can't do anything until tomorrow because gates are being made panels being made and that bit is a bit of camp rail style so everything would tie in though uh, what do we need? Jamie's making all this so we can't do it. We'll do that tomorrow because it is half past three. 
and yeah pretty much it they've got dogs so we've blocked it off so the dogs can come out if they need to of course when you go to the toilet and all that sort of guys but yeah that's pretty much another day for dj for us boys uh we'll see you in the morning so hello guys and welcome back to another day at dj i believe you're seeing these clips for your seeing dads dad is on the grab doing well trying to do another 10 loads on the grab today uh, we're here it's gate time so what we're gonna do we're just gonna try and get it up and uh you can watch us do it guys so enjoy Pretty happy with the level of the top of the two gates. Got our expansion gaps. Obviously, there's going to be a clapper, 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 so you won't be able to see through. Yeah, you'll see the little bit up top and nothing crazy. I could put a little board across the top, actually. I might do, I'm not sure yet. Um, obviously, that will all be changing. Let's have a look from the front. Yeah. Not too shabby, to be fair. Too shabby. Uh, drop bolts in the ground, and then this bit is fully complete. Remember, I said you wanted to see through, through, or through. I like the panel. Remember, I said that was going to get the boards to go line, 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 line. The one in the center, it does. You see, line to line, line to line. I just put a clapper on the middle. You're going to have to stop giving me tees because. I don't know what happens. Ah, <sighs> sorry guys. But we've got some rails up now. We're ready for a bit of camp rail style. almost almost done concrete at the pace at the what at the base of the posts tomorrow a bit of sandpaper just to tidy up where we've had to obviously scribe through but we're quite happy with that very happy very happy with deed there's going to be a clapper on the opposite side so you cannot see through there there or that side just there well, that ain't looking too shabby, is it, mate? Oh, man, it's... Uh, Let's be honest. On screen right now, bottom left, is the um, previous. And obviously, we've replaced with this. There will be another handle just there. Just recommended that to the customer. So, there's going to be a handle. Very happy with this. For me and Asne, that is another day at D&J. A long, hard, tough day at d &J. I said you'd see our clips before Dad's. So, let's go and see what Dad has been up to. Hopefully... It's been as hard as ours. <laughs> See you later, guys. So, good morning. We have got another morning. It's a nice morning, a bit wet, but it's not frosty. What am I on today? I'm muck shifting again. I'm in at, well, I'm just done my vehicle checks. I'm just showing 15 minutes on my taco, and then we'll be on our way. So yeah, I think Steve is in early today as well because I don't know if you can see it. Big Red is loaded up with wood. We've got the driveway, the lads are smashing on the driveway. He's got a fencing job, well, massive gate job. I seen that last night, he's doing really well on that. Yeah, it's amazing how lads smash it when I'm not here. 
absolutely. I've got the best team ever. Yeah, they all pull together. They all know what they've got to do and what we have to do. So yeah, muck shifting today. Try and show you something a little bit different. If not, we'll go back and forth from Steve. Uh, try and get John to do a bit of video in, uh, the lads. But yeah, let's enjoy today. Make it a good one. Make it count. Yeah, let's smash it. So, you haven't seen much of me today. That job uh, done as much as we possibly can with that. Didn't really show you many loads, just showing us when I got there. Oh, I think I did. And I've come straight back in, just five more loads. Uh, been buying. Been buying two new buckets. Difference with this bucket, it's got holes in the bottom. You may be asking why it's got holes in the bottom. We're going to riddle the stuff out there. So they're doing it with the Santa. We're going to do it with a little red. So I can riddle it out, get the bricks and stuff, drop it down, make it a little bit quicker, a bit bigger bucket, see if it works. That bucket there, we've had this one a couple of years now, haven't we? I think that's how long we've had it. Just wearing that front edge out, and I just don't want it to get any worse. I'm going to get a front edge put on that, and we've got a little crack down there, and just need to bend that back. But that bucket there is another one. That's to load the mixer, so that'll be purely for loading the mixer. Jordan wants me to come in, look. I'm videoing and he wants me to come in. He's, he's, he wants me to... What's that thing called where you... What? What do you call it? When you're underneath the shutter? Limbo. Is it limbo? Is it limbo? It's not limbo, is it? See you morning, Dave. <laughs> I'll stop out here, look. So, yeah, I've got a couple of new buckets. Everything's flapped away. So, that's another day at... D&J. We'll see you in the morning, guys. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. Everyone loves a Friday, as my dad always says. And uh, a lot of people have been saying thank you for keeping you updated on the swans. Well, let's have another look. You don't know if they're here. Oh, uh, not today, guys. We've got any eggs? No eggs just yet. But I believe we're going to have some signet eggs there. Well, hopefully, anyway, guys. Fingers crossed. In the coming weeks, probably. It's got to be around about now. Uh, Dad's just been putting two ton of topsoil on Mighty White. I believe he's on grabs today, but then I also believe that he might be on the tarmacking job as well. I'm not 100% sure, guys. I'm sure he will take you along for the ride. Me and Asnet just need to go and finish up the, the tongue and groove job. And then I believe, because we've sort of finished that one a little earlier, we're going to try and bring another fencing job in today. So, well, well I say, I believe. We're definitely bringing another fencing job. There's two. There was one that was booked in for Monday, I tried to move this one to today, and then the job that could be going in today will either go on Monday. So we're definitely doing a different one, or another job, should I say. But it's gonna be a busy, busy day. Like I said, Dad will take you along on the grab. He's here now, look. Everyone's just finding out what's happening and what they're doing. It's gonna be a busy, busy day. So let's get it. As in his cracking job of concreting. Lovely bit of smoothing over there. Well done, Asne. Lovely cut as well. We're happy with that one, aren't we, mate? We are coming back for some other gates. Uh, what's the other word? Side of the house, I guess. But we're using the old gates that were here. But what do we think, guys? Let us know in the comments down below. Me and Asni are back at the yard now, about to start or get some tools ready for another job. Let's go and see what my dad has been up to today. Good morning, it is Friday morning and I'm dropping two tonne of soil just down there and then we're on to BP, he wants uh, four sleepers and I grab away. So yeah, we're going to drop this soil down, just down there. And there we go, all dropped off nice and neat where he wanted it. On to the next. Here's our next one, guys. Let's get it on. Just like magic, it's all gone. And the boys have appeared. Let's get this topped up, on to the next. So, I'm currently on the way to go to the quarry. And yeah, I'm on the wrong side of the road, aren't I? And the wrong side of the uh, truck. 
he's got and driving. He's doing a little bit more training, getting some hours underneath his belt for when he does join the J full time. Yeah, we're on our way to Leicester, I believe, to Mount Sorrel Quarry. I'll show you when we get there. So at the quarry, just waiting to get loaded. And I believe the guy in front now alone sure is gonna load us, put the dust on. So here we have our next one guys. We've been to the quarry, we've got rid of that. Now it's a grab. There we have it, another one in the bag. Now we're gonna go over to driveway job, see Jordan. Hey guys, and welcome back. You've been seeing what dad, Jord uh, and Quinn have been up to, I believe. Well, I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. But we are on a fence install today. Another one now. That job I was on about. A little fence and a gate just here, look. So that old one's coming down. Customer's practically got that out. Big shout out to you, buddy. Subscribe us. So thank you very much for watching the videos. Uh, there's going to be timber on the wall here. There's going to be a bay just there. It's going to be around about a four foot wide tongue and groove gate there. And a panel just there. Uh, I will see if customer wants a tongue and groove panel because... It might look a little bit mismatched. I'm sure we can sort that out for him. But yeah, uh, we're gonna dig a hole, I guess, aren't we, mate? Gonna dig a hole, and it's gonna be roughly, without measuring it, it's gonna be roughly somewhere there. That's more than a hole. Post is where it needs to be. Customer's looking after us with a T. What have we got, mate? What have we got today? Oh my Kit God. Kit Kats. Oh, foxes. And these are my oh. favorite biscuits, these. Yeah. Let's crack them open then and let's have a couple. I know you've got two fake. Yeah. All right then, guys. This is what I want to... This is what I want to... Right. If you've not got time to go to the dentist in the week, what's a remedy that Asner can use for toothache? He's got, he's got chronic toothache at the minute. A uh, bit of inflamed gum and stuff like that. What is a homemade remedy or something simple it can do to sort him out? Because he's done nothing but whinge all week. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've, been no. I've been gargling so He has, he has, he has. And he's got his course still in the van. He is, so he's having mouthwash all the time. But, yes, I know he should be having these biscuits. But come on, guys, you've got to treat yourself. It is Fat Friday. What can he do? Home remedies. Let us know in the comments. And I've had nothing to eat below. all week. I've been, eat, I've been eating soup yeah. all week. And bread. Soggy and, bread. And soggy bread. So, uh, he's, uh, he's lacking with energy. Not stopped him from working though, so he smashed that. But he's lacking in general. So, let's see what he can, uh, what, what remedies have we got? in the comments down below guys. One in there. So final sweep up right now. Just took a measurement for the gate, took a measurement for this panel. Might be a little bit tough to slide this one in with the conifers, but we're gonna make it work either way. Uh, we will be back to install this in a second. Gonna be hard mate, yeah? I've made, I've got him to make it, oh, it angled, yeah. 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 Per perks of having not the game to be able to do stuff, innit? That's it, innit? That's what I said when I asked him to do it, yeah. Another not too shabby. This has not took long at all. We just had a little bit of messing around because when we put the panel in, the gate wouldn't then close. But just to show you guys that it can be done, of course, it should always close itself. None of this up and down. Let the gate do its job. Close. 
gap is lovely. So just need that to set. Of course, we only put it in an hour ago. They, are, they do set in five to 10 minutes, but always give you concrete 24 hours, guys. Nice locking bolt. Oh, did I show you from the back? I didn't really show you, did I? There we go. Plenty high enough, plenty secure. And as a passerby said, as we were doing this job, not too shabby. Big shout out to this subscriber, this customer. 40 pound towards the kit, towards, well, all of the lads at the end of the year for the drinks and the Christmas do. Massive, massive shout out. You do not have to do that, but very much appreciated. So thank you to the customer, subscribers, all of you. We're, we love this game. Uh, ready enough to the tarmac job now. So we'll see when we get there. Blocks laid by Jord and Quinn today. Old school way of measuring. So we are back. Marty White's playing up. Mm. Gearbox, not happy. Don't know what's wrong with it. Gonna think I'm gonna have to get the struggler. But I've texted him, I'm gonna take some wood down to him and he can have a quick look. So yeah. While we're here, I've got loads of things on my desk. I've already opened this. This one's amazing. Absolute amazing. Look at this. So now. Some of you lucky guys are going to get some of these. Yeah. So I don't know how we're going to do it, but probably when we give a hat and a or a baseball cap, you'll get one of these and all. Yes, you will. Yeah. So yeah, we've got plenty to give away. Thank you, thank you very much. Valet Turf and Topsoil is still smashing out the videos. Yeah. The link will be in the description. If you could please go and subscribe and comment on his latest video saying DJ Project Center, we'd very much appreciate it, guys. You always support us, so if you could go and support Valet, we would very much appreciate it, guys. Because look, he didn't have to send these, yeah. but he has. So big shout out. We didn't ask for these. To that's the main brilliant. Man. I think that's brilliant. absolutely brilliant. But yeah, we'll begin a few of them away. Thank but you, buddy. And if he does watch the videos, I don't know what the McDonald's wrapper is all about. Yeah, there was a random McDonald's wrapper in there, so I don't <laughs> is it know. Is a bit of a joke or I don't know? <laughs> Fair yeah, play, though. That's, that's come. Uh, what was this? Yeah. That, that's now, come. I don't know if this has come with this. Not sure, but Dad can just pull this out. Yeah. These guys have sent us something before. Is it just a reminder? It could be. <laughs> but, yeah, if you are in the... Uh, Oh, Kubota. I've just sent it from Ramir, but they do Kubota. Possibly, yeah. And we needed a part. Oh, they are stockist as well. Damn. £600 lighter. Oh, I do apologise. I will put that on my board, actually, because... Yeah, it might be that. Just notice the Christmas cards have gone. Yeah, the girl that's in time, they'll be not alive. It is March. I think me and Steve are going to move in the office upstairs. Yeah. Maybe that's point. Yeah. Right, this one. Yeah. Can I just stress something, guys? Not to be a pain. S T E V I E. I E. Stevie. Yeah, it's it's never been Steve. Steve. No, I don't like Steve V, mate. No, nah, that's an old man's name. Yeah. Steve V. If we could, guys, I would appreciate it. Stevie Y. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. What is it, a Christmas card? <laughs> Ooh, what's that? That's dried flowers. That's real dried flowers, isn't it? Oh no! Ah, yeah. We know from just from that. We know. We know exactly who that is. We did the job for him. If you are an avid subscriber, yeah, you know what job it is. Comment down below. Well, I was going to say, yes. Yeah. What job? This is from. Let's have a look. Let's custom. Hi, Dave and Steve. So you should know it's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Hope this helps with changing the oil on the next sunny service. Best wishes, Mick and Jane Ooh. Kilburn. And, as a little hint, the dogs. Yes. Lovely looking dogs as well. Oh, right. Professional struggler. We'll catch up in a no, second. No, in fact, we'll keep it on for a second. Hey, up, mate. Hello, David. How we doing? I really just, really just think you missed all the message. No, I bet you've seen it, really, didn't you? For oh, what's he want now? What's he broke now? 
Uh, I've got tarmacking to do in the morning. I was going to get down in the afternoon, if that's all right. You fell over? Yeah, well, I was going to go. It's all right. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah I can hear you, mate. I can hear loud and clear. Don't swear, because you're on YouTube. I can't hear you. Very good. Are you breaking up? Let me ring you back on my phone, because I'm on my watch. It's because he's out in the sticks. That's yeah, because my phone's out there. Oh, yeah. because <laughs> my phone's out there. Let me give him a quick ring. In fact, I'll ring you back in a second. Oh. Oh, Look at that. It sounded like a bobblehead, didn't it? It did. <laughs> That's what we need. That is what that we is need. That is definitely what we need. 100%. Oh. I did say it sounded like a... Uh... Bobblehead. No. Um... Oh, my God. What are they called? The squishy thing. Silver. Normally silver. Sp spring. And it does look like a spring. Oh, I might have to go back in it, but... <laughs> Oh, you're too kind to us, guys. You're too kind. Yeah, just fit, just fit. Oh, look. I've seen the struggle with one of these as well. So, any leftover oil can stop in here. And, oh, look. Yep. Wicked. Brilliant. Right, but that is another day for d &J. We'll catch up in the morning, because like Dad just mentioned, there's tarmac in, uh, potential visit to the struggler. It's going to be a busy one. If Dad does go to the struggler, I'm sure he'll film, but that yeah, will be separate. in a different video, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I guess you want to sign this part up. Yeah, it's another week at D and J Projects. Oh, uh, what are we doing? We're filming. What are we filming tomorrow? No, Top. it's not another week at D and J Projects. We'll close the video down tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow, guys. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It has been a long week. I'm collecting tarmac. <laughs> the lads are on site, so they're prepping up the driveway John's done a splendid job on the block work on the driveway so yeah 20 mil base I'm collecting four ton and two and a half ton of six mil topping that should complete this job just from if I've worked it out right and if the depths are done spot on yeah just a waiting game now as soon as I've loaded up I'll get sheets up ring Steve there tell him one way to start hopefully they've been pressed up and ready to go because the one drops Another two of them, we'll be on our way. Go on site. It's tarmac day. Completion day as well. All goes well, fingers crossed. We've got enough tarmac. But we've worked it out right, so we know we've got enough tarmac. We're just going to give the uh, stone a whack now. The reason why we haven't whacked it, we've done one whack, we've just topped it up. The reason why we haven't whacked it again, because the blocks are still going off. And if you whack it and you vibrate, the chances are you're going to move the blocks all over. So that's what we're doing now. The front has been cut out, as we always do. But yeah, let's get this whack. Let's get tarmac. Probably going to be time lapses for the tarmac. In. It's easier because you need all hands on deck. Yeah, time lapses it is, guys. Basically, leave it covered up. Six mils underneath that sheet. And there's the boys. In a grand job, see Stevie on the rake. Getting trained up on the rake. You start, you start with base to start with, which can make a few mistakes with base. But he's doing really, really well. John's on the whacker. He has been raking. And top man and is on the barrows. No, we're doing running barrows up there. You might say, but oh, Big Red got stuck there the other day. I had to do like the. Uh, Heavy D sports recovery and pull it out with Mighty White. So yeah, we can't put this grab on there. It'd be nice because I'd be able to reach right up there. But it is what it is, right? Do it with Barrows. We will not be defeated at DJ Projects.
the heavens have opened. But base is pretty much done. Just some tarmac down the edges. Looking good. And then it's dad's turn for the topping. The juicy six mil. They're a bit of steamy though, innit? You can tell how hot it is. Let's get it. So we haven't put another time lapse on for the six mil because it was chucking it down. It's just stopped raining, so I'll put a time lapse on now and you can see the last bit, guys. Do apologize, but I guess it is what it is. Hopefully you still love us. There we go, all been laid. Show Stevie some love in the comments because he's on the top in there, he's having a go. Perfect opportunity on this little patch at the bottom. Show him some love, guys. And he's tucked to it like a duck to water. So that is this job complete. The heavens have opened. But yeah, it'll do the time maximum good anyway, it'll cool it down. And she's just putting footsteps all over it, look. Yeah. <laughs> Steve uh, did that. I want you to show you some love in the comments for Steve's first go at doing topping. But yeah, it's a good one, guys. We're going to come back Monday. Just put a bit of limestone down there. It wasn't priced for, but we're going to do it anyway, just to make it look nice. But yeah, it's, it, it works. It works. But yeah, it's really, really good. But with that said, we're going back to the yard because it is absolutely lagging it there. So we are back at the yard. If you notice, we're both wet. It's been a good one this week. It's been a long one for me. I'm really, really tired. I can't wait to my day off tomorrow, but will I get one? It, who knows? Because the struggler's not answering to me and the wagon's all loaded up with wood. But yeah, with completion of the driveway, you've seen a fantastic and a little bit different gate and panelling, which Stevie and Ant have smashed out. Another fence install for a subscriber. We have the best subscribers. You've seen us open a few packages from subscribers yeah. as well, so thank you very much. So that concludes this week. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, smash that like button. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And why I've got you, for the ones who want to see part two of the New York vlog, it's coming this Monday, so keep your eye out. See you next one, guys.